Well, good day. I'm here to help you have a good day. I have my world on my heart this afternoon. And I just wanted to take some time to sit down and make a short video to encourage you. I'm sure that by now most of you have heard of this coronavirus outbreak that has taken place in China. Uh, Twitter is full of it. The news is full of it. There's a lot of fear being spread through the news media and other sources about this outbreak. So I wanted to take some time. I just felt the urgency in my heart to make a video and encourage you not to give place to fear. We have been looking at Romans 8.2, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. This coronavirus is a manifestation of that law that Adam loosed when he sinned. Remember, the two-leaved book, the Bible is a two-leaved book. Life, death, sickness, health, fear, faith. There is a lot of fear being loosed right now. I see it in the tweets that people are making. They are in panic mode over this whole situation. But we as believers who have the Spirit of God dwelling in us that are living under the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus as the new law of our new being do not have to be afraid when we hear of these types of situations. So I wanted to just read you. I've read it before, but I wanted to do it again. It's always pertinent. This is a good time. If you've been studying the Romans 8-2, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, now is a good time for you to practice what you've been studying. Practice putting this law into operation. I'm going to read from Dr. John G. Lake, <clears throat> his sermon, The Law of Life and the Law of Death. In it, he gives us an example of how he practiced the revelation that he had of the power of this life-giving law. He opens here. This is on page 104 of the book, Sermons on Dominion Over Demons, Disease, and Death, published by Gordon Lindsay, Christ for the Nations. He opens by stop starting to speak of, says here, if you can see it, operation of fear in the physical. The operation of fear in the physical. A man is in a state of fear. Someone has typhoid fever. They are placarding the houses. In other words, putting a quarantine sign on the outside of the house. So Dr. Lake is addressing a plague outbreak in his discussion here of the law of life. And the law of death. He's talking about fear, the spirit of fear, and how it operates in the physical body. These are very wise words, and I wanted to share them also to encourage you do not give place to fear. Do not catch the spirit of fear that is raging right now because of this outbreak. 
A man is in a state of fear. Someone has typhoid fever. They are placarding the houses to keep others from getting in contact with that dread disease. Is that not how they're describing this coronavirus? Dread disease. I've seen pictures of people, videos of people just collapsing on the street because of it. Oh, they're placarding the houses to keep others from getting in contact with that dread disease. Now, fear causes your mind, your mind, to become subjective. When you are full of fear, even the pores of your body open. Your pores will absorb everything around you. Now, fear causes your mind to become subjective. When you are full of fear, your pores will absorb everything around you. You are, draw you are drawing into yourself what is around you. That is the way people absorb disease. That is the way people absorb disease. Then he tells of his own experience. Some of you have heard this before, I'm sure. But listen to it again in the context of what is going on right now with this virus outbreak in our world. Operation of the law of life. The operation of the law of life. The functioning of the law of life. Now watch the action of the law of life. Faith belongs to the law of life. Fear belongs to the law of death. Remember the two leaves. Faith is the very opposite of fear. Faith has the opposite effect of fear in spirit, soul, and body. Faith causes the spirit of man to become confident. Hallelujah. It causes the mind of man to become restful and positive. So you're not... Oh no, oh dear, oh, and your mind gets all in a turmoil. A positive mind works, I will add, with the law of the spirit of life and repels disease. We're talking about spiritual mechanics here, spiritual operations, how things operate spiritually. Your mind is a spiritual entity. It operates in the un thoughts are unseen until they're spoken. So your mind is very important. Keeping your mind in faith. A positive mind repels disease. Consequently, in other words, if you're positive, then the Spirit of God, he's saying, that is on the inside of you emanates out from you. If you're positive, then the Spirit of life is operating. And when the Spirit of life is operating, it will emanate out of your pores. It will emanate out of your spirit and repel sickness and disease germs. A positive mind repels disease. Consequently, the emanation of the spirit destroys disease germs. <laughs> Again now, he's going to give you an example from his own life. Now watch the operation of the law of life. <clears throat> because we were in contact with the spirit of life, we were in contact with the spirit of... How do you do that? You consciously meditate on the spirit of life within you rather than meditating on the fear, the virus, 
that's in operation in the world. That's how you stay consciously in contact. Years ago, Andrew Murray wrote a book, Practicing the Presence of God. Well, practice the presence of the law of life that's on the inside of you. Because we were in contact with the spirit of life, I and a little Dutch fellow with me went out and buried many of the people who had died from the bubonic plague. We went into the, the bubonic plague. Hmm. I believe that that was just as serious, if not more, as this outbreak that we're having right now, the coronavirus, the bubonic plague plague. We went into the homes and carried the people out. We dug the graves and put them in. Sometimes we would put three or four in one grave and we never took the disease. Why? You know, there's froth, there's uh, pustules, boils that burst and fluid that comes out of them and that fluid is alive with the bubonic plague virus. They touched them. They got it on their clothes when they were burying these people. But we never took the disease. Why? Because of the knowledge that the law of life in Christ Jesus protects us. That law was working. Because of the fact, here it is, we never took the disease. Why? Because of the knowledge that the law of life in Christ Jesus protects us. That law was working. Because of the fact that a man, a person, by the action of their will, puts themselves purposefully in contact with God. Faith takes possession of their heart. The condition of their nature changes. Instead of being fearful, they are full of faith. Instead of being absorbent and drawing the disease to themselves, their spirit repels sickness and disease. The spirit of Christ Jesus flows through the whole being and emanates through the hands, the heart, and from every pore of the body. Hallelujah. The operation, watch the operation of the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Fear opens your pores to draw disease in, to draw flu virus in, to draw cold germs in. Oh, colds are going around, flus are going around. I'll bet I'm going to get it. I'll bet I'm going to get the cold. I get it every year, etc., etc. That's operating on the side of the page where the law of sin and death is Lord. No, if you're the believer, bring your body over here too on the side of the page where Jesus is Lord and the law of the spirit of life is operating, is the dominant law now of your new being. I want to just mention one other thing <clears throat> in, in relation to this current outbreak that's going on of this coronavirus and all the reports. This right here. Andrew Womack's book on the imagination. This is very important right now. What you do with your imagination. Just to give you a few little pointers on this. Proverbs 23. This works. This works right with the law of the spirit. The life in Christ Jesus. Because the spirit of life in Christ Jesus thinks certain ways. Pictures certain things in the imagination. Pictures 
sickness and disease germs dying. Dr. Lake used to say, every disease and virus germ that touches my body dies instantly in Jesus' name. The imagination pictures that. The imagination pictures the spirit of life in Christ Jesus indwelling us, emanating out from us. Use your imagination to build your defense right now. Use your knowledge of that law. Use your ability to put your, by your will to put yourself in contact with that law right now to build your wall of defense against this disease, this virus that's being loosed right now in our world. Scripturally, looking at it, Proverbs 23, 7, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. That means in your imagination. Doc, these are Dr. Lake. These are just a few of Andrew's uh, notes I've taken. People try to receive from God without first activating your imagination. If you want to know that you're going to have your freedom from this virus that's going around, Activate your imagination and see yourself free from it, not getting it, not being subject to it, having dominion over it in Jesus' name. Picture it right back here. Get to work with your imagination. He goes on. He says you have to see it. See it. Any virus germ touching your body dying. You have to see it repelling. Greater is he that's in you, the law of the spirit of life killing that disease in Jesus' name if it comes anywhere near you. Have to see it to have it. Then he asks a question. Are your thoughts earthy or are they redemption-centered? Oh, all the media reports right now would want to make your thoughts earthy to think about what's going on here in the earth. But your thoughts must be redemption-centered. They must be life-centered. Where are my imaginative thoughts? Oh, be careful. Fear can, can create all types of imaginative thoughts. Your imagination, he says, is your spiritual womb. It's where you're going to create your inoculation against this, for your body, against this disease. Hallelujah. Your imagination operating cooperating with the scriptures that says the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death and seeing this virus over under that side of the page and seeing yourself over here and looking over there at it and saying no you're not going to touch me in Jesus name what do you see what do you imagine Watch over your spiritual womb back here. Give no place to the spirit of fear. For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. I just felt that warrior rise up in me today to make a short video to share with you and to punch back at what's going on in our world right now and the fear that is wanting to spread. You as a believer are not subject to the laws that rule this world anymore. You have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness that rules this world and you've been translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. Praise God. Free. Begin to say it. Begin to see it. Begin to picture it. Begin to meditate on it. Romans 8.2, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law that brings sin and death. And every disease and virus germ that touches my body dies instantly in Jesus' name. For greater is he and his laws that are in me than he and his laws that are in this world. God bless you. I hope this has been an encouragement for you in times such as these. And Windsor signing off.